still watching down the line with me, Anton Rojas. And me, Laura Liman, subbing in for Dead and Lazaro. Hello, guys. And for today's special episode, we have one of the most successful, talented, and popular faces in the volleyball scene dito sa Pilipinas. We have 2016 Miss Volleyball, Mika Reyes! Woo! Mika! Mika, maraming salamat. Alam ko sobrang busy ka, pero binigyan mo pa rin kami ng oras. So thank you so thank much you for joining then. us here thank sa Down so the Now Mika, speaking of Miss Volleyball, we know that you started your volleyball career at a very late age compared to those who usually go professional. So medyo late ka when you started, but eventually you were able to win the Miss Volleyball Award by the Philippine Sports Rights yeah. Association. So how does that feel? Um, again, <laughs> like, syempre, ang dami na nagtanong sa akin. I'm very happy, I'm very grateful, I'm very thankful na they've given this uh, recognition sa akin. Naalala ko, Mika, nung in-interview kita sa Lasal dati, I think it was your fourth year, sinaya mo sa akin, and in your own words, ah, hindi ako yung nagsabi nito, ah, si Mika yung nagsabi sa akin. Sabi mo sa akin, <laughs> sabi mo sa akin, Banu talaga ako dati, as in ginagamit lang ako pang block. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, yeah. Diba? Dahil sa hype mo. Yes. Uh, Naano pa with Coach, um, Coach ng UP. Coach Jerry? Coach Jerry hmm. sa Manila team. Ay, no, no, no. Ay, no, no, Manila team. So, sinayin mo sa akin, nung dumating ka sa Lasal, sobrang chinaga ka ni Coach Ramil, as in sobrang dumami na yung linya niya sa noon niya because <laughs> oh, so you, really, you really worked on you to, to improve. So, you, you played with such a great coach and Coach Ramil. Ano yung pinaka-importanting lesson na natutunan mo sa kanya? Um, siguro sa lahat naman ata, ito rin yung masasabi, discipline. Hmm. Na, under that, ang dami na yung priorities mo, yung time management mo. Siyempre, as a student athlete, back then, kailangan, well, student, na una talaga student, kailangan mag-aral din muna talaga. Pero kailangan mo i-balance your academics and your trainings. Kasi mahirap din naman talaga makamiss. Kasi lagi rin kami na, uh, well, before, twice kami. So, ang time mo rin talaga for, um, for your academics, konti lang. Like, kailangan mo lang talaga i-manage yung time. Kailangan mo lang pagkasahin yung enough time na binigay sa'yo para makapag-aral and then you have to rest. Well, worth it naman nun. Halata yes. naman so, na sobrang so disciplined kayo. How so many bra. UAP championships did you win? But of course guys, with UAP, we don't have the coaches, we also have the teammates. So, mm -hmm. we want to talk about your teammates, Mika. Who do you think is side? your favorite? Yes. Favorite? Naku, baka mag-alit. Para safe. Safe answer. Si Kim na lang. Kim Fardo. Bakit si Kim? Kimi kasi... Ano lang. Feeling ko as a setter and as the middle spiker, parang kami yung instant connection. Mm -hmm. like, para alam mo yung tingin na lang namin, alam ko na yung gagawin ito. Wow. Parang ganyan sa parang. So may mental na sense or something. <laughs> so nadala namin siya outside the court. So alam mo yun, nalagin na kami kaka-vibes, agarin kayong magkasama, and magkasundo rin kami sa songs. At bukod pa sa team niya, do you have friends who are on other UAP teams? Mm. My best friend, Jessie De Leon, mm. sa USD. Super thin girl. I always see her on Instagram <laughs> also. With Mika. <laughs> Talaga. Ayaw ko nga pala. Going back to the songs, ano ba yung hilig niyong songs ni Kim Farah? OPM. OPM. Example, like yeah. favorite song? Which one? Um, OPM and yung mga some love songs, mga It Might Be You, mga ganun. May, may favorite artist ba? Wala. Pero mahilig kami. Nag-play kami lagi na ang nag-play namin. Usually, para okay ni Edgar. Mahilig din kami sa boy bands. Backseat boys. Oh, talaga? Best life. Oh, okay. na ko yung one life. A A blue? Ba ba yung blue? A1. 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 <laughs> okay, Mika, nicknames naman. You, you've been called a lot of nicknames, been given a lot of nicknames sa uh, volleyball playing career mo. Swag Queen, Tough Tower. Meron ka bang favorite nickname? Uh, you know EGI and Tough. Yes, I know EGI. Yes. EGI, kasi yun nga, EGI Tough Tower. Hmm. So, nung nalaman ko, sinabi sa akin yun ang commentator one time. Sabi ko, ba't ako pinangalan sa EGI? Ha 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 ha
or taga dun ako or something. So parang nagpapag like, na ito, bakit na <laughs> tower? Pero okay naman, parang siguro tower kasi matapad. So it's in tough. So tough tower na lang. At syempre, compliment din yun, di ba? Yeah. You're tall, you can block, your a dominant force on the court. Okay, after La Salle, playing five years, being in the finals in every year, three championships, naglaro ka naman sa PSL. And recently, uh, na, na, natulungan mo si Coach Ramil Desus and your La Salle teammates with F2, Logistics, mm -hmm. the champion guest all Filipino. So, after that, nagulat ang lahat, you shocked the volleyball world because lumipat ka ng kubunan. You moved to Petron. So, <laughs> I'm confused. Sobrang comfortable mo. You're with your coach in, in college and then bigla ka lumipat sa Petron. Why? Basically, like what I've said before, I need, I need, I want a new environment. I want to grow with my new coaches and new teammates. So basically, yun lang din talaga. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mika, besides being a volleyball yep. player, we know that you're also very... Instagram <laughs> yes. you, you use Instagram very no, well. Of 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 <laughs> and Mina don't actually notice that Mika likes to post food. She always oh, posts. Mina wag post na lang. Ibat ibang klase ng pagkain. <laughs> so nako confused kami. <laughs> well, anyway, we were wondering what is your favorite type of cuisine or food since we see so much of it on Instagram. So far, kakatapos ko lang sa Korean. <laughs> Parang nasa may time, ilang months ka. Like, kasama ko sa naging RM ko, like, in-influence niya ako mag-Korea. Nahay kami dito sa main ko. So, yun, like, every season try na rin ako ng iba-ibang type ng Korea. Meron sa BF, sa Paranaque, meron dito sa Timog, meron sa... Saan area meron? Meron din dito sa may... sa Pasig. Mm. Right? Ang dami ko din na-try na iba. So, Actually, ako din. Favorite ko din yung Korea. Yung Korean barbecue. Oh, yung grill eh. Mm -hmm. Fashion naman, Mika. Napansin ko, you can pull off a lot of outfits. You look great in a dress, you look great in a shirt, shorts, pants, whatever. So, we're just curious, sino ba mga fashion ideas? Actually, wala. Like, maybe follow ako sa Instagram. Maybe follow ako ng mga models. Kasi, syempre, matangkat sila. So, I guess, Mas kailangan ko tignan yung height nila, kung ano yung mas bagay sa height nila. But then again, hindi naman ako model. Pero yung katawan mo, pang model. Hindi naman ako yung suot ng mga, yung suot ng mga crop tops. So, alam nyo, siyempre, pero ano lang, laid back style. Tama ba? Yung yung term doon na as much as possible, if I can wear pants and shirt, kaya if I can wear hoodie na lang, parang super, medyo ang tamad na. Nang dating. Pero, yeah, pero sometimes I wear naman dresses. In some occasions, if kailangan magdamit. Mm -hmm. Kailangan. May pangarap ko bang sumali sa TV? So far, wala. Wala. Ikaw? Dapat na. Issue. Okay, um, just the other day, uh, you were named along with Eliza Valdez as the ambassador for Phil and Vitality and Vet, which you attended as yes. well. Did you host that event? Yes, I did. That's on dressing with that door. So, for sexy, I grab it. So, <laughs> so, 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 Mika, I, I'm sure, syempre, because you played against the Sal sa kabuan ng uh, career mo, five years in the finals, all those five years against the Sal. We can't help but notice, di ba? You're a representative of the Sal. Eliza Valdez is a representative of Ateneo. So, people think that you guys are rivals, but when you see each other, <laughs> but you're not, right? So, so how, how do you address those fans that think that you guys are rivals, you're not friends? Uh, I think, well, rivals naman. I mean, paano ba? Paano mo sabihin? Kasi atin yung Lasal, so may rivalry talaga. Like, sabi ko nga, kasi ako yung representative ng Lasal, or parang ako yung nakalala sa Lasal, and siya nakalala sa atin yun. So, nakocompare kami. Yes. Which is, I think, okay lang din naman makompare, but may limits. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko, bakit, siguro sa for the fans na lang yun, na bakit sila may may um, issues about it. But for me, wala rin talaga kasi na alam ko, we're both very different in many ways. Iba yung position. Sa volleyball, iba yung position niya, iba yung position ko, iba yung role niya, iba yung role ko, iba yung leadership na nabibigay niya, iba rin niya nabibigay ko. And we're totally different. Mag-iba kami. But we're both um, love the sport you're playing. 
At napansin ko talaga, Anton, during that event, na wala talagang issue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kaya nasabi sabi ko, friendly lang talaga sila. I think yung mga fans lang yun. Sabi ko, yeah. what's the point? Mm-hmm. Ba't kaya nag-aaway? Ang mm-hmm. stress nyo na yung sabi ko. Sabi ko nyo eh. Parang nadadamay pa kami. We're both innocent. Can you stop? Uh, yeah. I guess this is the time. Miss Volleyball guys. has spoken, guys. Yes, yeah. yeah. it's really nice. Peace and love. Peace and love. Don't you stress your self. Okay, we're going to entertain you. Don't you stress your All right, well, moving on from rivalries on court. Of course, we also have to talk about things outside the court. Yes. And that includes love life. Next question. <laughs> 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 So, a little birdie told us that there is someone named Jerome Ponce. And parang nandito siya. Mm, oh, nga. Nasa na ba siya? Nasa na ba Anyway, we wanted to know, I guess, how you guys met in the first place. Uh, actually, hindi ko siya sinasagot the past few interviews. But ngayon, hindi ko pa rin na sagutin. Joke. Uh, <laughs> Common friends, uh, acquaintance lang din kasi before. So, yung friend ko, na friend niya rin, pinakala siya sa akin, pinakala ako sa kanya. And then, we became friends. And then, yeah, next question. What do you like about him? Why? What? Why do I wanna know? Um, <coughs> he is very gentle man. And he is... Um, Supportive. Yeah, supportive. Yeah, he, was, he was there with you when you were hailed <laughs> as Miss Volleyball, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much, Mika. You answered the question. I think it's a very simple answer for this. But yeah, it's not that hard. I don't know if I should do it. And it's okay. I'm very open about it. That's good. Let the love grow. Yes. Thank you very much, Mika. But stay right there. We'll be back with Quick Set right here on Down the Line.